I'm sitting in the workroom right now of Academy Award winning actor, dancer, singer, George Takiris. Is that, does that cover it? Yeah, that, that, I've done all that stuff, yeah. Dancing was sort of a natural for me. You know, I was a, a natural mover or whatever you want to call it. I loved being on the stage, and I loved that whole feeling of, of, of performing. I worked in uh, what Give a Girl a Break with Debbie Randall's and White Christmas. Uh, um, there's no business like show business. Um, gentlemen prefer blondes. A diamonds are a girl's best friend. You're one of the, the, the cadre of men, that, the chorus of men who yeah. stand behind it with yeah, a great right. diagonal. I think they're pink shawl. Yeah, they're, they're red sashes. and we're like ambassadors or something. My impression was she cared very deeply about her work and, and, and she was a great worker. She was uh, disciplined and the whole thing, I mean, she really was. It's almost unimaginable for me to think about what, what you saw from your point of view, yeah. from standing behind her, yeah, looking yeah. at the camera, being on set, you know, with Marilyn Monroe yeah. in front of you looking, yeah. looking out there. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. The, at the end of a rehearsal day, there was a sort of cocktail party, I'll say, where everyone was invited, the stars and the chorus people. And um, she came up, she was wearing pedal pushers and just very casually dressed. Drusilla Davis, who was my partner, said, she said, why don't I go up and ask her to give you a kiss on the cheek? And I said, no. No, no, don't do that. Well, Drusilla went anyway. So Marilyn Monroe turned around, looked at me, and I heard her say, but I don't know him. I can't give him a kiss on the cheek, I don't know him. Tell me about what you're doing out here. How about, you've been doing jewelry, right? You started this as just something to fill your time and something to do, to, hanging to, out and mellowing down a little Just to stay home, bit. yeah, like a sabbatical, if you want to, want to call right, it that, yeah. Right, right. Well, and, that then, and then it just took over, that's what I really? kept doing. And you just fell in love with it, really? I, yeah. I, you I, did? I, yeah. This is a working business for you? Of course it is. Well, it's not out. a business yet. A I mean, maybe, business, maybe one of these, no, passion. I, I'm not looking for like, Right, yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. But, but it would be fun to, to sell have, it. Yeah. And this is a necklace, yeah. And um, one, if I can find the... Here it is. Here it is. Uh, the clasp is here. Uh, we got it in 1962, but 1964, 1961, yeah. Can I pick it up? Yeah, oh, please, yeah. And credit is so nice. One look at us and they charge twice. Life is all right in America. If you're all white right in America. Did you play it in London? I played it in London for a year and a half. Before you came, before the movie. None of us ever thought we'd ever get any get near the film. It never crossed anybody's mind. We were hearing Elizabeth Taylor, Elvis Presley. America. One day, five of us in the, in the London cast got letters from the United Artists. And my letter, and it was a great letter to get, asked me to pick a scene as Riff, and I was playing Riff, so I knew what scene to pick. It also asked me to pick a scene as Bernardo. But I was at Wimbledon on a Friday, and I just had this urge, I just had this feeling. It wasn't time, but I just wanted to get to the theater. I just wanted to get to the theater. So I got to the theater about five o'clock early, and there was a telegram telling me I had the role in the movie, I swear. I am here longer than you, Maria. Si, Nardo. Someday when you're an old married woman with five children and you can tell me what to do. But right now it is the other way around. Well, I love Natalie, just love Natalie. And she, to me, she's Maria. Are you Bernardo? Well, I was. Uh, you, you know, when I, I think to myself, how, you know, sometimes, you, uh, just in recent years, I, I think of it and I said, oh my God, I did that. And I, how did I do it? You know, how, I don't remember how I did it, you know, but you, you care enough to, 
to do it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It seems like you do uh, you do a couple more more than one thing well, George. Oh well, thanks. George Shakira. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're still here in Hollywood. Whether yeah. you're making jewelry or, or dancing. <laughs> or, so well. or, uh, I'll get back to dancing telling too. Telling stories about your Academy Awards. Yeah. Well, you know, I think you know TV. TV's calling your name. The George Shakira Show. <laughs> yeah, the reality show. But maybe maybe who knows? You know, I don't. Thank you. You're about the most real thing I found in this town. George Shakira. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thank you very much.